Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us to find the limit of x tends to 0. And the expression given to us here is x plus 2 sin x. And in the denominator, we have been given root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 minus root of sine square x minus x plus 1. So we need to find the limit of this entire function's expression that is given. And if I talk about the answer choice that we have here, the first one being 6, the second 1, the third it's telling you 3, and the last option it's telling you 2. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the value of this entire limit. So let's try to solve this limit first. So limit x tends to 0. We know already that a function says in the numerator you have x plus 2 sin x. In the denominator you have root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 minus root of sin square x minus x plus 1. So what I do here first step is the idea which we apply for general math that whenever you have root in the denominator, just rationalize it to get this root eliminated from the denominator. So to rationalize it, I'll just multiply and divide by instead of minus a plus sign in between the two functions. So root of this plus root of this. And same thing I'm multiplying in the denominator also. So root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 plus root of sin square x minus x plus 1. So you get this entire thing. Now once you have this, you get limit x tends to 0. x plus 2 sin x multiplied with this entire bracket. That is root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 plus root of sine square x minus x plus 1 divided by you get a minus b into a plus b so you get a square so root of x square plus 2 sine x plus 1 the whole square minus b square which is root of sine square x minus x plus 1 the whole square so you get limit x tends to 0 you have x plus 2 sin x as it is. You also have this roots x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 plus root of sin square x minus x plus 1. Denominator, we know it is a square minus b square. So root and square gets cancelled out and you're left with x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 minus this becomes sin square x minus x plus 1. So you get this entire thing. Now let's try to solve this further. So if I try to solve this entire function that we have here. So limit x tends to 0. You have x plus 2 sin x. And the second bracket you know already it is root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1. Plus root of sin square x minus x plus 1. Denominator, if I see now, you have x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 minus sin square x plus x and minus 1. So you get x square plus 2 sin x plus 1 minus sin square x plus x and minus 1. So I have plus 1, I have minus 1, that makes it 0. So you're left with that. Now once you have this, what I will do is I will try to use the idea for the limits that says sin x needs to be divided by x because we know limit x tends to 0. Sin x over x is equal to 1, right? So if I want to have that expression, what I will do is I'll divide this entire denominator by x. 
So if I'm dividing this denominator by x, I'm also dividing my numerator by x. So I'm just dividing my first part of the function by x. And that gives me limit x tends to 0. x divided by x, which is 1, plus 2 sin x over x. The second part of the function, I'll write it as it is. So you get root of x square plus 2 sin x plus 1. Plus, you get in the root sine square x minus x plus 1. So you have this entire numerator. Denominator, if I see, I'm dividing by x. So x square over x makes it x. Then you have to sine x over x minus sine square x over x plus x over x, which is again 1. So you have this entire thing simplified. Now, if I just apply the limits here, I get this numerator turned out to become 1 plus 2 times limit x tends to 0 sin x over x. We know already it is 1. So it makes it 1 plus 2. The second part of the function, if you just apply this x as 0, it becomes root of 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus root of 0 minus 0 plus 1. And your denominator here becomes 0. You apply the limit here again, you get to limit x tends to 0 sin x over x again as 1 minus this. If you see, it is not x square, it is just x. So if you apply the limit here, this basically gives you, if I try to simplify this, I can write that as sin x over x into sin x. And if you apply the limit here, you get this value turning out to become 1. But if you apply x here as 0, you get sin 0, which is again 0. And plus, you have that as 1. So that's your entire limit applied. So if you apply the limit now, you get the answer turning out to become 1 plus 2, which is 3. This becomes root of 1, which is 1, plus root of 1, which is 1. Denominator, 0 plus 2. This becomes 1 into 0, which is 0. So 2 plus 1, which is 3 again. So this gets cancelled with this 3. And you are left with the answer as 1 plus 1, which is 2. So you get the answer for the question here that matches with answer choice C. So C, answer choice D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on limits. So first, as our general rule of math, we just rationalized it. We tried to simplify it and then I just divided my numerator and denominator by x and applied the limits. That gave me the answer for the question as D, option D. And D becomes the correct answer. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. See you again tomorrow with one other video. Thank you.